Hi, it's Aubrey Shepard with Mr. John Rule today, and we're going to look at a few pictures from Fayetteville and talk about uh, tomatoes and flowers and such. Let's see what we got. Mm. Well, if we start off looking at the stream by my house, that's a town branch, and it had flooded, uh, overflowed Friday night. This past Friday night, we're talking on the, yeah, and that's here, some man. of the swirling mass of debris that mm -hmm. ran over the, that stuff washes down from Martin Luther King Boulevard mm -hmm. down the town branch. These are varieties of tomatoes on sale, <coughs> excuse me, as plants by a gentleman, uh, Mr., let's see, Ken Fields, I believe it is. And we'll see his picture with his uh, young and beautiful daughter in a little while. And see, these are hybrids that he's got of all kinds of tomatoes. Mm. And he's got pictures of them and, and the plants are out there. And I, I was amazed because I've never looked at this many different these kinds are of- These from last, last season. Or well, these are from photos were posted by the boxes there on Saturday. And this is a form of mint, which really has an interesting flavor that he has. Mm. Those starts for sale, they're beautiful. Not course, salvia, is it? it? It would be in that category. I see. Yeah, I think you're right. There's some. The, they're, they're, it's a cultivated variety, but they're, right. they're beautiful. And gosh, you can just rub that and great odor they have. There's a basil on mm -hmm. sale at the market and uh, uh, more of the same there and some other flowers in the background. I have a few a few basil up in pots. Well, the, the market's always fun. Look at this, uh, alpacas for sale. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And these young ladies bought something and got it in a bag and it's still raining on Saturday morning late so they hadn't unwrapped. Yeah, it doesn't make it Saturday morning. That was a pretty wet day. Yeah, I'm sure they had a slow day. I, mm -hmm. I bought a, a small amount of vegetables, not a mm -hmm. whole lot. Mm -hmm. But there's a family group going by. I love the family groups as well as people I've never seen together before mm -hmm. that are talking. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's okay. There's uh, Ken Fields and uh, with the beautiful young lady, she's always wearing her uh, decorative paint, mm -hmm. and they're always around there on Saturdays. Nice painting, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that, uh, you recognize that by any chance? Uh, no, not at this, not at this angle. It's uh, a lot paler than the wild flocks or anything like that that's in the woods. Well, this is a Jacob's ladder. Oh yes, I'm, I, I said, I'm familiar with the name and everything and with the, the plant, but I don't think I've seen the blooms that, that close on that. Well, they're they pretty small. They show the blooms like that. You get right down in their face to get these mm -hmm. pictures because they are Jacob very Jacob Ladder, Solomon Seal, False Solomon mm -hmm. Seal, and all kinds of stuff like that. Now that's a, a uh, well, okay, th this is a non-native, totally, but it's interesting little flower, and that's really tiny. It's it's your thumbnail size flower, uh -huh. and like a lot of them, it hang, it droops like this. Right. So, well, so I never the, did get under to get a good the, shot. The, both the adder's tongues early uh, point down. Uh, well, they're like that, but they they usually open up. Open up later. better, yeah. Mm -hmm. Lord Hawkins is inspecting the Lonicera sempervirens, the native. Yeah. Non-invasive honeysuckle. Non-invasive honeysuckle. I have it down there. Uh, it, it's really nice, and uh, uh, hummingbirds just love it. They well, you know, that's what I, they say, but I seldom stand there long enough and wait for hum hummingbirds. Well, it's like well, you, you have just to, have to come along at the right time. You have to have a pretty good stand, but my, my two kitty cats used to lie and wait until I noticed what they were doing. And, scolded them out of there. And they'd get up and run with their head down and very, they, they very knew. disgruntled and back to the house. But they were lying there waiting for those hummingbirds to come. I, that really went, sent a chill over me, I'll tell you. But we did have a wonderful stand, thick stand that was just natural mm -hmm. uh, for a year or two. 
it, it likes to move around if it doesn't get the, the type of, of uh, nutrient that it needs, mm -hmm. you know, like so many things, and most berry plants. That's well, very interesting. It's one of my favorites, and I've been showing pictures of it every month, but now we've got lots of them. And there are just a few blooms all winter, and, and it's amazing. Well, John, next time nice you thing. come, let's uh, read, read some poetry, okay? All right, I'll try to have a little outdoor nature observation. Okay, good. And uh, in, in verse. All right. Till next time, I'll be to you do your part to help keep the water clean, the air pure, and the woods green. And visit your farmer's market Saturday, Sunday, whatever days you can find. It. Hello, I'm Aubrey Shepard. It's the 2nd of May, 2013. We had a lot of big events yesterday, and we'll see some photos of those. And maybe, there we are. There's Mr. A.G. And Kim A.G. was one of the big organizers for this uh, Buffalo River event at the Federal Public Library. Uh, this is after the panel discussion was over. I couldn't get near the front to see the panelists uh, up close. And you see some of the names there. We had a geologist, Mayor Lionel Jordan. We had Sierra Club. We had uh, Ozark Society. We had uh, Audubon, just, you know, Greg Letting from the, uh, the state uh, legislature. There's Fru Gallagher there and with Mr. Kim A.G. And there's the lady who's a a realtor, she's wearing her uh, Buffalo River thing. There's Fru and Lauren Hawkins uh, after the event. And uh, there's Joe Neal and uh, let's see, Terry in the middle. And okay, can't name them all. It's Bike to Work Week, May 12th through 18th. So get out and ride your bike to work if you can possibly do it. Here's some signs from the uh, Buffalo River meeting, kick the hogs off the buffalo. Well, well, well hmm. Anyhow, uh, a lot of the crowd was out in the lobby, including the, the uh, television camera. Uh, I don't remember which channel that was, but they couldn't get inside. These are people in the lobby. There's a monitor out there, and they were watching it. It was about 400 people that came in and out of that room uh, total probably and they, all the chairs were filled most of the time and uh, there you can see the panel in the background that's about as close as you could get and you see some of the old-time uh, supporters of the Buffalo River and some of the young people who care so much about that river that they, they uh, drove over here from other areas of the state and Buffalo River Rescue uh, that's one name for what's going on there. But we had experts and, and people who just loved it. And uh, a few people came who support the hog farm. And, uh, you know, there's a, a sign in here that says, uh, yes to hog farmers, but no to hog factories. Soldier's heart. Well, I'm wearing a shirt today uh, that I got from that uh, CD release. That's uh, Jacob George, and he's got a new CD, and we got to hear him perform a lot. And I have some video on YouTube from that. This is Western Wallflower at World Peace Wetland Prairie. One of the things been in, uh, in bloom for, for a week or so, two or three uh, in some spots there. This is a very special jonquil. I hope it, uh, hope it looks as good on your screen as it did to me on my computer screen. It's certainly a, a beautiful and very small uh, jungle. And here we've got a few irises that are in bloom at World Peace Wetland Prairie. Of course, these weren't in bloom when we had Earth Day celebration there. That came when it was right between uh, one species or another being in bloom. But these were too pretty not to, to show. They're not necessarily native plants. They're cultivars, they're developed over centuries, really, in different nations. This is a, a native wildflower, and I couldn't remember the name in time to, to write it on my hand so I could read it to you. 
while we're doing this, but that's Samsonia, and uh, that's the foliage of the goldenrod, and goldenrod uh, species won't bloom till late in the summer in many cases. That's uh, wild indigo bush, that's elderberry bush, and it's a pretty tall thing. Okay, well, it was just a great night uh, on the uh, 1st of May, and it was a great weekend, and, and I enjoyed so many activities, so many people getting out and speaking their mind and trying to get that damaging project to, uh, stopped, uh, modified, you know, make sure every possible safety uh, thing is, is done to ensure that we keep the water clean, the air pure, and the woods green.